From the discovery of a relic in the depth of 80 feet to the discovery of intriguing artifact in Lot 8, the research team keeps making new discoveries that might finally lead them to the treasure on Oak Island. Here are the top 10 discoveries made on the Oak Island in 2023. 1. D2 Borehole The crew discovered a big boulder at a depth of 80 feet in a section of the Money Pit area that looks to have been dug through an earlier borehole known as D2. Due to an unknown obstacle, softwood and a piece of an ancient-looking Macintosh were also extracted from the hammer grab tool. The crew believes it is a relic from a prior treasure hunter or someone who visited Oak Island a long time ago. 2. Rubber Boot they also uncovered a rubber boot being borne by a wooden structure with the writing Kaufman on it, implying that it goes back to the 1900s when the American rubber boot company, Kaufman's, created boots. They believe it has something to do with Franklin Delano Roosevelt, who oversaw a failed excavation in 1909 while still working for FDR, the existing gold salvage and wrecking company. This could imply that the crew is uncovering evidence of Roosevelt's participation in the genuine money pit. 3. A piece of FDR's boot Another discovery was made on Oak Island. The treasure hunters were ecstatic after discovering an old structure at the Money Pit that is linked to Franklin Roosevelt's work and prior Money Pits. Although there are still some concerns to work out before they can continue, such as the sun setting, David, Laird, and the rest of the gang remain optimistic about the future. They are especially thrilled by Dr. Kroll's latest theory, which claims that they may have discovered a piece of FDR's boot that could connect to both the money pit and a new tunnel that could lead to an offset treasure chamber. As they continue to excavate other portions of the island, members speculate that they may have discovered the general location of the original money pit or a tunnel that may lead to an offset treasure chamber. Despite the fact that this is the final can, the Oak Island team is determined to continue their quest and is hopeful that they will. The team comes over bedrock at a depth of about 130 feet indicating that the treasure is close to being discovered. However, all five gigantic steel holes sunk in previous months have provided evidence that the wealth is still buried someplace below. Thus, the question remains as to what it will take for the crew to eventually collect it. The team has run out of time to undertake any further excavations in the Money Pit location this year, although scientists believe there are significant amounts of gold and silver dollars down there. 4. Rock Drill A blacksmithing expert Carmen Legg examines a rock drill discovered more than 100 feet deep in the B4C shaft, which is thought to date back to the mid-15th century. This find could provide fresh proof that the crew is close to finding the legendary riches. The fact that the rock drills were generating caverns and caves could provide hints as to why the tunnel was being widened. The crew discusses the rock drill that could have been used to carve out a hidden room in the money pit after another good discovery. Because the discovery could point to the presence of a much older artifact, the team considers whether to call it quits, but ultimately decides to dive more into the enigma. The team also discusses the finds uncovered on lots 4, 8, and 15, which may be directing them in the right direction and possibly bringing them closer to locating the treasure. The team made multiple discoveries on Oak Island throughout their hunt, and they explain their most recent find on Oak Island a massive metallic object near Frog Island that could be a shipwreck. Rick Marty and Craig hired CSR Geo Surveys, limited to do a magnetometer study in the northern waters surrounding Oak Island, which revealed numerous intriguing abnormalities. One of the more intriguing anomalies was located in Lot 5, and another was a gigantic item on Frog Island. The anomaly at Frog Island, according to Dr. Spence, could be a shipwreck, which could assist answer the enigma of Oak Island. The crew intends to use handheld magnetic anomaly detectors and cameras to study the waters between Oak Island and Frog Island. 5. A Shipwreck During another search on Oak Island, the crew enlarged their search area to hunt for any visible debris that could assist them establish what they had discovered. They overhear Dr. Spence go over to a location on the island where they discovered indications of human activity and potentially the wreckage of a shipwreck. However, nothing can be seen over the replica because it is covered with seaweed and silt. Dr. Spence and Tony, the metal detector expert, persuaded Dr. Spence that there is a shipwreck there, and treasure hunter Gary Drayton and treasure hunter Michael John arrived on Lot 8 to inspect the suspected shipwreck. The crew is continuing their dive program in late winter and early spring due to the discovery of significant evidence in Lot 8, 
including a big metallic anomaly observed by ground-penetrating radar. The main foyer will be excavated early next season, according to the team. 6. Bones In another episode, theologists O'Connelly and Drayton discover a large chest of bones in an Oak Island underground burial cave. The chest also included ancient artifacts such as ceramics, ceremonial swords, and ornate jewelry. The bones of a leader of the Losers of the Knights Templar were discovered with a big scar on his chest. The team views these artifacts and bones as evidence of a large-scale medieval burial place, most likely belonging to Knights Templar allies. It was revealed in another episode that researchers uncovered a key discovery relating to the Oak Island treasure. They discovered parchment, implying that the treasure may contain not just gold, silver, and jewelry, but also precious manuscripts. The parchment was recovered in the TF1 shaft spoils, and preliminary examination revealed the existence of some striations in it, indicating directionality. Experts have expanded the investigation, and a cross-section has been created, revealing that the striations are caused by materials such as iron, which relaxes when subjected to X-rays. Older inks were formed of gall, an iron-based ink, and iron galling, composed of iron salts and tannic acids derived from vegetable sources, was developed in Europe during the 5th century AD. 7. Gold Fragments The treasure hunters of Oak Island discuss the discoveries uncovered during their core drilling program. They mention the discovery of gold fragments, as well as large amounts of silver. They see this as a sign that they are on track to discover the great riches they have been searching for for over 200 years. To back up its claims, the team uses historical narratives and scientific proof. The team notes that in 1909, dynamite was used for drainage, which may have resulted in small bits of metal falling into the money pit. 8. Portuguese Stone Shot They also examine a possible explanation for a Portuguese stone shot discovered deep in Oak Island's money pit location. The shot is a 4-centimeter iron ball, believed to be a recognized caliber of shot from the 1400s, the team recommends that if someone wanted to protect what they were doing on Oak Island and remove the gun from the ship, they might transport it to a site on the island and mount it on top of a barrier to prevent prospective trespassers. The team also discovered the Portuguese Knights of Christ and their possible influence on the Oak Island finds. In 1317, Portuguese King Denis renamed the Templars the Order of Christ, and it is claimed that hundreds of Templars escaped with their precious jewels. According to the team member, the megalithic cross formation of stones discovered on Oak Island in 1981 could be a representation of the Portuguese Knights of Christ insignia. The crew has also discovered several intriguing bits of wood in the area that may assist corroborate Scott Clark's theory, such as suspected deck planking, ship-related tools, and a trapezoid-shaped piece from a cargo boat dating back to 1680. The team discovered probable ship-related findings in the Oak Island Marsh, such as the possibility of a treasure galleon hidden beneath the ground. They also talk about the corroded iron they discovered, which appears to be related to a trapezoid-shaped artifact discovered earlier. 9. Wooden Tunnels The team discusses the likelihood that the wooden tunnels discovered on Oak Island, which could date back to 1488, are linked to evidence of silver and gold concentrations detected in the region. This discovery may provide a new compelling possibility that should be considered in the Oak Island mystery. Later, the crew travels to Sintra, Portugal, to investigate a grandiose home that may be linked to the Oak Island mystery. Korean Mall and a Templar historian, Zhao Biandero, teach them that the Templar Knights, who ruled the region for centuries, built much of what they see in Sintra. The estate's initiation well has nine platforms and may be related to the money pit on Oak Island. The well is 13 feet in diameter, which is consistent with early reports of the money pit and could be a coincidence. In addition, the crew identified a symbol on a 90-foot stone at Oak Island that corresponds to a symbol from the cryptic inscription inscribed on the stone. The symbol is thought to resemble a mason's mark, which could tell the narrative of the Knights Templar and their link to Oak Island. The team emphasizes the importance of a thorough examination of the mason's marks in order to comprehend the symbol on the 90-foot stone and investigate its relation to the Templars. The team also believes that Tomar, the Temple Knight's capital in Portugal, could be a vital piece of evidence in the search for Templar and Masonic connections to Oak Island. 10. A Garnet Brooch 
Marty Legina and Gary Drayton have discovered something potentially significant while researching Lot 8 on the western side of Oak Island. The area has lately been cleaned of enormous trees and vegetation, presenting an intriguing tiny spot. They searched thoroughly for proof and came across a stunning garnet brooch. The garnet brooch is a very ancient method of producing wire, and gemologist Charles Layton Brain estimated it to be over four centuries old. The crew wishes to revisit Lot 8 in quest of further items. They have conducted magnetometers on the island and discovered further abnormalities, so they plan to return for another look. Horses had been spotted on the island before, although they were mostly employed for agricultural, namely, plowing fields. This bridal could be linked to the garnet brooch they discovered four years ago, or the huge metallic anomaly they aim to unearth soon. The team also talks about a big metallic tool they discovered nearby, which could be linked to the buried object or structure. The team intends to apply for a permit to begin moving Earth and investigating further. If you are liking the video, please consider subscribing. The crew also mentions Gary Drayton, a metal detector expert who has arrived on the island and has discovered an abnormality at Lot 8, which appears to signal the possibility of another treasure finding. The region is being gridded, and more research is being carried out to uncover the mysteries of Grail Castle. On Oak Island, there are two iron swagas that are thought to be over 500 years old and were used for big mining or tunneling activities. The discovery led them to think that prior to the discovery of the money pit, work was done on the western side of the island. They begin an excavation to look for signs of human activity in the hopes of discovering anything significant, such as a chamber or treasure. They discover only rocks in a damaged area, leading them to suspect that the boulder in particular was the result of human action and may be linked to tunnels or other underground structures. What a thrilling journey through the mysteries of Oak Island. From hidden treasure to ancient artifacts, this year has been full of jaw-dropping discoveries. The team uncovered secrets buried deep underground, unraveling the enigma that has captivated us for so long. The curse on Oak Island may still persist, but the team's determination and perseverance has led to these incredible finds. It's been a wild ride, and who knows what other secrets lie in wait for us in the future. Stay tuned for more adventures on Oak Island.